is Mr. Buffington, and today we're going to be talking uh, about sets, and not the drum set, or swing set, or TV set, or train set, but we're going to be talking a little bit more about what we discussed before, about a set being just a list of numbers. So, quick, quick recap, a set is just a series of numbers that in the past you substituted into an equation or an expression. Um, it's usually represented using these uh, squiggly parentheses, so that would be the set of negative 1, 2, and 4. And today we will actually be using these sets to make groups, which is a little different than what we did with sets before. I'll show you what I mean. There's two ways to write this phrase, this sentence here. Um, you can either write all even numbers from 0 to 10, or you could use our set um, notation and actually write the set out. So which one of these sets is the list of even numbers from 0 to 10? By the way, 0 is not really counted as an even or an odd number, so that's not going to be in our set. So it's going to be all the even numbers from 0 to 10. It's going to be option C. When in doubt, pick C, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Even numbers from 0 to 10. So we could either write all even numbers from 0 to 10, or we can write this. And this set would have all of, all of those numbers listed in it. Another grouping that we do with sets, other than even or odd numbers, is called a union and an intersection. And I'm going to talk a little bit about unions first, and then intersections, and then we're going to do some practice questions with them. Union is represented with, um, it looks like a capital U. Um, that's a nice, easy way to remember that it is a union. And it's in a union of a set, it is any number in either set. So you'll be given two or three sets, and the union is any number that is in either set. Here's an example. We have the set N, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have the set M, which is 2, 4, 6, 8. We're asked to find the union of N and M. All right, I should have picked letters that sounded a little bit different, but N and M, we're going to find that union. So we're going to list any number that is in either one of those sets. In other words, we're going to list the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because that's all in this set. And, well, we've already got 2 and 4, so we just would list from that the second set, M, we would list 6 and 8. So you see, the, the numbers 2 and 4 appear in both sets, but we only list them one time. We list in chronological order all the numbers that are located in either set. All right, so the union of n and m is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. The different, the intersection is the other side of this, and it's represented by a symbol that looks like an upside down u like a little mountain or whatever. Um, and the intersection is the number that is in both sets. All right. So for example, with our same sets, and n and m, n being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and m being 2, 4, 6, 8, if we're asked to find the intersection of n and m, we would just list the numbers that are in both sets. So in this case, 2 and 4 are the only numbers that are listed in both sets. All right. That's the the intersection of these two sets. Let's practice a little bit. For the set A, which is 4, 5, 7, 9, and B, 1, 2, 3, 6, find the union of A and B. All right, the union of A and B. Do you remember what the union is? The union is all the numbers that are in either set. So in this case, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. All right, we listed chronologically all the numbers in both sets. Any number in either of the sets, sorry. All right, all the numbers that are there. That's the union. For the intersection, here's the intersection of A and B. A is 4, 5, 6, 7, nine, or 4, 5, 7, 9, and B is 1, 2, 3, 6. We're finding the intersection of A and B and so that is the numbers that are in both. Which number is in both A and B? In this case, we have no numbers that are in both. You can either write that like this, or you can write it just saying nil. Um, there are no numbers in both set A and set B. 
this means no, no numbers. That's kind of a lame question. There's no real solution. Um, let's let's do one that actually has a solution. So I changed the numbers in set A and set B. We're going to go ahead and do an intersection of A and B when we have these numbers: four, six, eight, nine, and two, four, five, six. And so what's the intersection of set A and B now? All the numbers that are in both A and B are four and six. So we have four in both and six in both. So that'll be the intersection of A and B is 4 and 6. All right. I hope that that's been helpful for you about using sets to make groups. Have a wonderful day.